Hi everyone, welcome to my review of Roberto Benigni's Life is Beautiful in 1997. Um, so yes, here we are. Um, this is a film that I you know, re-watched today. Um, of course, here it is on Blu-ray. This isn't mine, but yes, um, we're here with the Blu-ray. Um, of course, a re-watch. Um, the only time I saw this um, was back in 2017. For the first time, um, I'd heard you know, great, great things about this. Um, although it's, it's kind of controversial, um, you know, the critics Got a lot of um, critic um, critics kind of uh, bashing the film. Um, you know, it's kind of controversial. I think purely because um, it's kind of a comedy as well as a drama, of course. But a comedy, um, you know, about certain subject matter. Um, you know, that, that obviously people do not sometimes agree that this can be allowed in cinema. Um, I, you know, I think it always depends on the film. Um, you know, in this on this occasion, I don't think. You know, this can be criticised um, for being a comedy, you know, when it's just just because it's a war film and stuff. Um, you know, it is, of course, set in World War II, um, Italy. Um, this is an Italian film, of course. Roberto Benigni, um, basically, yes, he he wrote and directed this film and, of course, starred in the film as, as Guido, um, our main protagonist, of course. And he's basically this Jewish, um, Italian, uh, you know, waiter, amongst other things. And, yes, um, he has a friend in a film as well at the beginning, um, and, of course... It's basically, um, this, this film it is basically a, an exploration of um, the human spirit. Um, it's not really, I wouldn't say it's more, you know, one of the a true war film at all, um, you know, because it's really just the, the second half as well that's kind of that. Um, you know, I think, spoilers alert, you know, I will be maybe you know, mentioning some, well, I will be mentioning some stuff, you know, about what happens in a film. Um, if you've not seen this, um, check it out. Um, let me tell you, hint, it's going to be a high rating um, by the end of review. So yes, um, watch this once again tonight, my second watch, um, and all I can say is, really, uh, this film is absolutely stunning, it really is, um, I think, life really is beautiful, you know, when you're watching this film, um, wow, this is something else, um, you know, I think, of course, um, IMDb is, you know, it's in the top 30, I believe, um, so, you know, it kind of, that was another thing that drew me to the film, um, but just, just in general, I wanted to see this, um, you know, I've not really seen... Too much Italian films, um, you know, of course, I have kind of, the only thing I can say, Fellini I've dabbled into um, with Eight and a Half and I, I didn't watch it all, um, I didn't really like the film. I will be, of course, actually exploring Fellini this year um, and actually give him a chance, um, certainly not just Eight and a Half, I'll be doing, you know, most of his films, hopefully, um, if it's Aloni and stuff. Heard some great things about you know them, um, you know, but this this film, of course, it's one, one of the only Italian films I've actually seen all the way through, um, you know, I'm really... Really looking forward to getting into some Italian cinema, um, but yes, this film of course won three Oscars, um, Best Actor Included for Roberto, um, of course, his wife um, stars in the film as well, um, Nicoletta um, Brasci, and um, she of course plays his, his love interest in the film, um, Dora, and um, wow, she's absolutely wonderful in the film, um, and you know, this romance that forms, it's just so beautiful, um, you know, and of course, they do, have, as a spoiler review, they do actually, you know, have a kid in the film as well, um, you know, who's who's um, basically very prominent in the second half of the film. Um, of course, yes, this is just an exploration of life, of family, um, of course, how, how you can have, um, you know, keep up the spirit, keep up hope um, in, you know, times that, you know, of course, you know, are horrible, um, you know, dark times, um, and just happens to be, you know, that, that thing is war in the film. Um, as I say, this is not really... A, a film, a pure war film, it really isn't, I think it's just how, you know, you can respond, um, you know, and of course, it is a fantasy film, I, I take it as, you know, on many occasions, I do, I do think it's very fantastical, um, you know, it's not realistic, um, some people of course have criticised it for that, uh, but this is a completely unique film um, that isn't meant to really be that, I think it is more kind of this upbeat, uh, you know, kind of joyous film, um, you know, even in the face of these dark, dark times, um, and it is a very, very highly moving film, um, you know, but in face of these dark times, how you can kind of respond, um, you know, and kind of keep up, you know, the human spirit and stuff, and of course, in the second half as well, I just, you know, I was so, the first time I saw it, um, you know, so moved by the end of it, but just the genius ways, um, I've never seen this before, um, of course, the character of Guido, um, how, of course, his son, um, uh, basically, you know, the two of them, the relationship is very unique, and of course, in the second half, when they're in the concentration camps, um, just how he kind of, he has to kind of um, keep the son, um, keep all the information from him, um, of course, 
he basically turns the whole thing into a game, uh, you know, in the son's eyes. Um, of course, again, that can be criticised. Uh, I'm sure it has been by the critics. But actually, this is just wonderful stuff, um, you know, and of course, it's actually very, very moving in itself. The way that, you know, it's a kind of, he's so determined um, against all odds to kind of keep this up and never really reveal reveal the kind of um, how actually, you know, disturbing what's going on in the camp and, and not let the sun worry. Um, and that's a very, very uh, powerful thing uh, you know, that goes in the film. I think it's wonderful. Um, and this film, uh, for me, um, you know, in terms of everything, the direction, um, which is absolutely flawless, the writing, uh, performances, the score, um, you know, just everything in the film, um, you know, just how unique it is and how it makes me feel. Um, this has to be, you know, one of the best films ever made um, for me. I agree, you know, it's one of the finest. Um, it's absolutely stunning. Um, of course, just each, on each occasion, I've had such a, you know, a, a wonderful experience with this. Um, of course, been very deeply moved, um, of course as well, um, you know, kind of this fantasy kind of feel the film has, um, this this weirdness at times, um, but this just wonderful, whimsical, jolly feel, uh, you know, that it has certainly in the first half, which, you know, I think probably I do prefer, um, you know, it's basically this wonderful, uh, one of the most wonderful pieces of just this hour, roughly, of, of, of a kind of um, this man's life and the way he forms a family, um, of course, with with uh, Dora, um, and it's just, it's so beautiful to see, it, it's just something that I can, I found so much, so much comfort in, um, and just the, the kind of unique kind of tone the film has um, in, in this first first half, um, you know, it, it's just something else, it's just, it's one of the most, you know, wonderful things um, I've ever seen, um, it's just constantly kind of, makes me feel great, you know, it really does, um, and it's just so well, it doesn't go too far, you know, it's not over the top um, in the way that kind of breaks the tone, um, and of course, it's just constantly hilarious, um, engaging, you know, th these characters, um, even the friend of Guido, um, I, I loved, I loved the uncle, he, he was a great character, um, and just, just all these characters, um, you know, in the first half, and just the kind of, uh, the way this romance uh, comes about, it's just beautiful, um, you could say, yes, you know, it's nothing um, too complex, or, 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 you know, kind of, too much of a struggle, um, you know, the romance, for, for it to get formed, um, but I think, it's so well, you know, it's so well portrayed and it's so, you know, kind of wonderfully presented um, and the feelings I got from it, you know, it is kind of, um, yeah, it is kind of one-sided in that sense. Um, you know, there's not, it's not a romance that takes, you know, those struggles, as I say, to get to, um, but, you know, it's not meant to be. Um, of course, just the way it kind of uh, plays out, it's just, you know, absolutely wonderful. Uh, I think it really is just something else, you know, the writing, as I say, um, throughout all the gags um, and just, you know, the way he kind of balances drama and comedy, um, you know, uh, benignly, it's just truly something special, um, of course, combined with the music, um, and just, you know, the way this film is shot, um, it's just, it feels like a dream, it really does, um, in this first half. The second half comes about, and of course, um, you know, the, the Germans, of course, um, put them in the concentration camp, um, and yes, it could be, you know, it could have been um, wholly depressing, or, or just kind of very, very dark, but... Benini um, is not going for this, you know, and, and that's fine. That's his take on this uh, sort of, um, you know, kind of subject matter. Um, yes, it's controversial. Um, of course, it, there's no way that this would have been, you know, um, praised all around by everyone um, because it is it is something that's also always controversial. Um, you know, on this occasion, I think um, it's completely wonderful what he does. Um, as I say, he does keep up this kind of um, upbeat feel with this character. Um, it's nothing, you know, that's offensive for me at, at all. Um, I think... And he just, of course, it's, it's more about the kind of uh, keeping up, you know, this this act for his son, um, you know, Goosey. Um, it just to make him, you know, kind of uh, feel, you know, still still alive and stuff, and, and not not be uh, affected by this this terrible stuff that's happening. Um, of course, surrounded by all this this um, you know this death and, and, and stuff and horrible horrible treatment, um, but he keeps his son um, from actually knowing what's going on, um, and of course. In that sense, he he stays alive. Um, his character, his his spirit in his son, uh, even though he he himself, Guido, does, he knows of course that the terrible things are happening. Um, and of course, in a way, he he kind of, um, you know, his true kind of, his his mood and everything, of course, it, it really drops. But you never really see that um, because of course he tries to keep up the facade for his son, um, and that is something that the way it plays out is just genius, um, genius stuff here. The writing, the acting, uh, of course he got an Oscar uh, for this film, um, and just 
definitely um, deserved um, the performance in this is absolutely stunning. Um, this has been praised as, as kind of a compared to you know Chaplin, uh, very Chaplin esque, um, and I think definitely agreed. Um, it does feel at times like a Chaplin film, um, and of course, yeah, you can compare it to The Great Dictator actually. Um, the way it kind of mixes comedy and, and you know and, and, and war um, in, in this way. And yes, the actual, the way that it's in, in the first half as well, the, the kind of, uh, the character of Guido acts um, and just, yeah, some, some of the kind of, um, you know, the, the, the chase scenes and stuff uh, could be compared to, to Chaplin and maybe even Buster Keaton, Lauren Hardy. Um, it's very, very kind of classic cinema feel, um, this one. And uh, that's you know, one of the many things I love about the film. Um, it's just, it's such a, a wonderful film. It could not be called pretentious um, for me at all. Um, it's just a full... A fully, you know, pure film um, that's got no false pretensions um, and just, it's so human um, and just so vibrant. The colour palette is truly wonderful. Um, the second half, what, you know, what Benini does is he kind of, uh, definitely it's a darker um, in terms of the colour tones, uh, the palettes, um, of course. To, to highlight, of course, the change uh, in the tone of the film and the kind of the way that these characters go through, through this, um, this devastation, um, but of course, then again, the ending um, once again switches back to this kind of um, nostalgic and kind of uh, vibrant colours. Um, you know, I think cinematography in this film um, was truly something else. Um, and for me, you have one of the greatest kind of jump cuts, um, you know, the very subtle, um, you know, the greatest kind of pieces of, of editing um, in cinema history. Um, of course, just before the, the hour mark, uh, when, of course, the sun, uh, you know, you see him come about, um, you know, it's just the... A wonderful, wonderful scene, um, and of course, these scenes, you know, where, where the family together um, are just truly uplifting. Um, the way it captures the human spirit um, is like no other. Um, I think this is definitely one of my favourite films of all time. Um, I think I loved every moment of this. Um, you know, it's just so investing in that first half, um, and then it's much more focused mainly on the, on this, um, you know, this family, and of course. As we know, they don't really um, see each other, um, you know, all together again, really, for the rest of the film. Um, and it's just, it's such a sad film um, as well, of course. Um, the death of um, Guido is just something that I, I could not believe um, happened, you know, I think. Because it's such a kind of, um, even him, you know, he kind of keeps up this this uh, this comedy throughout the whole film. And then, you know, he's taken, of course, um, by the soldier. And I thought, you know, when I heard the shots and stuff... Um, that, It'd be like a shift, um, you know, it turns out that he's, he's, um, you know, kind of um, countered it or something and then, you know, it's done for me because, you know, I thought, of course, they cannot kill him off in this way. Um, but, you know, then, of course, the soldier comes back around the corner um, and then, of course, our main protagonist has died um, in such a way and it's truly devastating, um, really, really moved me, of course. And then the son, you know, he was waiting um, and he never saw his father again in it. Um, but then, of course... You do end on a really, really hopeful note. Um, of course, at least he's reunited um, with his mother, of course, uh, Dora. And, um, you know, despite our tragedy, you know, for the last sort of um, 45 minutes before the ending, um, it still ends on a kind of hopeful note, an upbeat ending. Um, and it just, this combination of tragedy, um, you know, very, very dark subject matter, um, but of course, just uplifting, um, hopeful nature, um, you know, and, and comedy as well. It's for me the perfect combination on this occasion. Um, I think Benini really knew how to do this um, perfectly. For me, this film has no flaws whatsoever. Um, I think in every sense, even from the very opening scene, um, you just have a, a wonderful kind of comedy action scene. Um, again, playing, playing homage to kind of classic cinema. This film um, from then on is just pure perfection. Um, the way it kind of has this wonderful romance um, and within this first hour really um, portraying just just life in itself, um, all in one, you know, this film kind of has such a scope to it, um, of course, and within an hour, even less than that, around 45 minutes, um, you know, this guy has met this woman, um, you know, he's come in and, and of course, he's already formed a family, um, and the way this is kind of um, progresses, it's just truly wonderful, um, you know, and then of course, the second half is them in the concentration camps, um, and it's just... It really is some film, it really is. Um, I think if you've not seen it, um, well, you shouldn't really be watching the review because it's kind of a spoiler review, of course. Um, but yes, of course, tell me in the comments what you think. Um, I think this is, you know, it's not in my top 30. Um, you know, it's not, I wouldn't agree with that, but um, I do think it's one of the best films ever made. Um, for me, this film is very, very close, if not actually in my top 100. Um, you know, it's definitely around that mark. Um, you know, it's definitely, um, definitely, 
on or around the, the 100 mark actually. Um, I think it's that good. Um, how this film makes me feel, um, it's got a mix of everything um, you know, that I love about these sort of films. It's got the joy, um, you know, the kind of passion for life, uh, a wonderful colour palette, um, you know, the way it's just, it's just a whimsical film, um, you know, a fantasy film, um, you know, and the way that is incorporated within the characters um, is absolutely perfect. Um, the way, of course, that Guido is kind of just an embo embodiment of, um, you know, joy, really, um, and, and just, it's just such a perfect um, portrayal here, um, and of course it's got the, the moving moments, um, you know, and of course the family kind of values and um, father-son relationship. Um, it's got all this combined with, you know, wonderful side characters, um, the hilarious and kind of just uh, so well fleshed out. I love the kind of relationship he has uh, with the German, um, well, of course he becomes, you know, a different, he has a different role in the rest of the film, but you know, that, that German character, um, of course, where they kind of exchange, um, you know, them kind of conundrums, um, you know, and they have the challenges they set. It's really great stuff. Um, it's great writing. That is how you write a film. Um, it's just, it's so investing, it's so unique. Um, and then of course, just uh, the way this film ends, um, it's truly something. It comes together wonderfully. Um, very, very sad. Uh, but again, this is not a film, um, you know, that, that kind of takes itself fully seriously. Um, of course, it is a comedy and, um, you know, as a comedy, it is truly wonderful, um, you know, and it does not offend um, for me. It does not, you know, it's not, not a film that, uh, you know, kind of, um, you know, is offensive and it doesn't go too far ever, um, even though it could well have done. This could have been, you know, a film that, that was something, you know, that just didn't didn't work. You know, it's a very, very risky film. Um, you know, I think, just like The Great Dictator, um, you know, of course. But yes, it's very, very Chaplin-esque, but this is something that, you know, truly it just... It is its own film, you know, it does play on classic uh, cinema, uh, but it's something that is truly unique and, um, you know, the way this film makes me feel, um, it's just so many emotions that, that I get from this and, um, you know, even more so now, um, I think I preferred it the second time round um, and I already absolutely adored the film and, um, you know, I think it just gets in um, to get my, my second highest rating, um, you know, of course, the TRS is literally impossible to get, but this, for me, gets 100% plus. Tier one, um, yes. Now this film is truly wonderful. Um, I think I've explained enough, you know, why I love this film. Um, it's just this wonderful kind of, um, yes, kind of strange film at times, but just pure, you know, kind of innocent for, for, for the first half, fantasy film. And then of course, it's, it's one of the best war films, uh, although I wouldn't count this for really as, as a true war film, um, but it's just a film, a film about, uh, you know, human spirit um, and kind of keeping your, keeping hope and everything in, in the face of, um, you know, death and, and devastation and, um, you know, just horrible, horrible stuff, of course, that happened, um, but, you know, keeping this up and, and for the sake of, you know, your family, your children, um, this is the thing that really is just, um, it's one of the most human films I have ever seen, um, what, you know, this, this brought me to tears, you know, on numerous occasions and uh, what the cl conclusion it comes to, um, it's just one of the best the best, um, you know, most realised final acts in a film. Um, I was shocked at many, many moments, um, and I was uplifted, of course. Um, the use of music throughout um, is just absolutely stunning. Um, of course, the Oscar-winning um, score. Just a truly flawless film for me, and it goes beyond that. It really, um, you know, it really elevates this film. Um, the spiritual levels are so high, um, and just uh, the way I was moved, the way I cared about these characters, um, and the way I was just kind of transported, um, you know, for this time for, to a very, very unique of, you know, kind of blend of, of fantasy and reality. Um, it's just truly something else. Um, the acting is flawless for everyone. Um, I think everyone involved, um, you know, especially of course, Roberto um, Benini, um, he gives a standout performance. Um, one of the greatest characters in film for me. Um, and just everything works perfectly. The comedy, um, the drama, and um, just, the way this is kind of a fantasy film, um, although, you know, as well in the second half, a war film. Um, but, you know, as I say, it's not really about war um, too much. It's about how, you know, the hum human spirit and everything responds to this. And that, you know, family um, in, in the face of this kind of stuff. Um, so, yes, of course, wonderful, wonderful film. Um, one of my very favourite films, um, you know, not, not top 50 or anything, but you know, in or around that top 100 mark, um, you know, just on the edge there, it really is something else. And if you've not seen the film, um, you're skipping towards the end now for the rating and stuff. Yes, um, this has to be seen. Um, it, 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 you know, it's, it's so high on IMDb um, for a reason. 
this film is truly wonderful. Um, you know, not everyone will love the film. Uh, some will be kind of, yeah, put off by the, the subject matter and the way it's a comedy as well. Um, but for me, it really is um, a fully realised pure film um it's absolutely flawless and um yeah just just a real definitely one of my favorites uh, a real kind of um a film that moves me so much and it means so much to me um and yes just just truly magical that's what it is it's a magical film and um yes life is beautiful um truly truly wonderful and um yes thanks for watching my review